Today's Italian cooking lesson is about pizza and polenta. First, let's talk about the ingredients. We start with flour, and olive oil, and yeast. On second thought, let's talk about tummy tucks. A tummy tuck, or abdominoplasty, can slenderize the tummy by tightening the six-pack muscles and getting rid of unwanted loose skin and excess fat. Hmm, maybe we can use this pizza dough. Let's start with the anatomy. Here are the guts. The abdominal muscles cover the guts like a girdle. Sometimes the tummy is very round. Why do you think that might be? Right, fat. The only way to get rid of that inside the belly fat is to lose weight. On top of the muscles is more fat and on top of that is skin. Our goal with a full tummy tuck is to remove all the skin shown in black. We cut along the black bikini line all the way down to muscle. We lift the skin and fat off the muscle. Then we cut around the belly button and leave it in place while we keep on lifting until we get to the ribs. Now we see the six-pack muscles and they're separated as they usually are from pregnancy, weight gain, or genetics. We can sew them together and improve the contour. Now we'll stretch the skin till the star is at bikini level. In our practice, we use progressive tension sutures, which means no drains. They allow that skin to stretch all the way down till the belly button hole is at bikini level. We make a hole for the belly button and remove the extra skin and fat. Now look at where that star ended up. This is our patient from the side before and after her tummy tuck. Honey, what are you doing? Just making some pizza. Plan two weeks of downtime after a tummy tuck and no lifting or vigorous exercise for six weeks.